have a front door, you know. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt the party downstairs. Well, there's no cars out there, so I'm pretty sure the party's a bust. So you weren't texting me to come over. What's up? I know what you did. Last summer, or... No. Spying on Caleb Cooney, or Cortland, or whatever his name is. You're the guy who knocked him out. Asher, you hit a guy over the head. For you. <laughs> I, I mean, not you, you, but the Chandlers. Caleb's out to screw with your family. Yeah, because he wants his company back. But you don't know how far he'll go to get it. I mean, everyone thinks Caleb's this innocent mountain dude, but I'm telling you, he's not. All right, you want to know the real reason I came in through the window? Yes. Okay. Caleb was chasing me down. The guy's crazy. I thought it'd be easier to shake him if I blew through the woods and climbed up the back. Well, what would he have done to you if he caught up to you? Who knows? I'm just glad I didn't wait to find out. Probably a good idea if I stay here tonight. Who knows if he's still out there waiting for me. Excuse me. What are you doing? Um... What does it look like I'm doing? Well, it looks like you're taking off your clothes. Uh, smart girl. And I will find some clothes for you to wear somewhere around here. And uh, by the way, you are not walking around here naked. <laughs> you never said yes. Say yes to what? To me staying here tonight. Is it cool? You're telling the truth about Caleb? He's really after you? I swear. Then yes, you can stay here. Thanks. So whatever happened to the Rager? I thought it was like a big deal. Well, it was a big deal to Annie. <laughs> I guess that Pine Valley society is not ready for her yet. I mean, can you blame them? She is trash. It's kind of harsh. Whatever. It's drama around here all the time, and I'm just sick of it. Wow. Last time I talked to you, you were all about family. Yeah. Uh, but since then, uh, Marissa is suing for custody of AJ. I mean, I get why she's doing it, I do, but... I've been through it, and it blows. Yeah, well, at least the kids got parents that love them enough to fight for them. Did someone not fight for you, Asher? What's wrong? I'm just trying to take it all in here. Um, look, I'm going to go home and get started on this tonight. I'll see you first thing in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. Our priority right now is to get you the hell out of here. Have I mentioned how happy I am that you're home? Me too. <laughs> Hi. 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 Welcome back. Thanks. Good to see you. You too. Have you seen Maya? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Good, good. Well, you look great. <laughs> so do you. It's so good to see you. Thanks. Um, and you, we're going to fix this, okay? Excuse me. Yeah. So, is Jackson your lawyer now? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, did you, did you tell him everything? Everything except that I found the drug that killed David in Ryan's pocket. But he can still defend me and win without that information. Well, I hope you're right. I have to be. So how pissed is Erica? She's pretty pissed. Mostly she's just worried about me and Zach. Well, I truly have never felt closer to Jack than I do now. You know, we were we were discovering the world and then rediscovering each other. Well, it was just like something out of a dream. We just kept walking and walking and just talking. And... Don't, don't stop on my account. What happened to you? Did you get caught in the rain? No, it's a car wash. I see.
am not. Am I'll deal with my mother. Famous last words. I don't know. Maybe you should just keep your distance for a while. From you? Are you serious? Until my father can get the charges dropped. No. I'm not going anywhere. I never thought we'd be like this again. After everything I've done. After everything David did. Yeah, well, I should have told someone the minute I knew he did something to that plane. Yeah, you're right. You should have. Next time, you better put my mother's safety first. And I wouldn't get on any planes with her in the near future. <laughs> I'll bring a parachute. Thank you. Don't be too grateful. I have my own selfish reasons for being here. With Zach gone, I don't have anyone to hang out with. Just you. And you know what? Honestly, Bianca doesn't bitch as well as you do. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. So, if Jackson gets you clear... When? When? Where are you gonna go? I have no idea. I do. Stay with me. At Wildwind? Are you gonna move back into your house? Not without Zach. Well, there you go. Well, we'll figure something out. I don't want to put you out. We always put each other out. That's what we do. Thanks. Time to go. Cooney. It's Cortland now. New name, new look. May I come in? Please. She's right inside. Thanks. Hi. Sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> and look at this one here, yes. huh? Come here. Hi. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. How's Greenlee? Well, you know, she's holding up as best as can be expected. I think I'm uh, taking over her case, so. Mm, that could get a little tricky, don't you think? Representing your daughter? No, Jack really knows what he's doing. Right? Well, Jack certainly hopes he does. Actually, uh, Cooney here, sorry, <laughs> Cortland makes a good point. But Caleb's actually starting uh, his own law practice. Here? Oh, he's decided to stay in town. Mostly going to be working on getting Cortland back from the Chandlers. Hope you don't mind the competition. I won't even know you're there. I'll be so focused on getting the murder charges dropped against my daughter. Hmm? Well, I hope you do it really soon. Because I can't wait to start planning our wedding as soon as possible. So, do I look like the next big Chandler or what? <laughs> Why do you always do that? You avoid talking about yourself. <laughs> what am I avoiding? I've already told you my story. If that's true, then why do I feel like I don't know you at all? Maybe a little mystery is a good thing. <laughs>